Hello everybody, welcome back to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. If you're new to my channel, my name is Desiree. And basically a quick rundown of what my channel is about. I live and work in Atlanta, but I have a tiny house up in the Appalachian Mountains where I am slowly starting an off-grid farm. So as you know, usually when I go up to see my tiny house uh, for a weekend, I have some kind of big project in mind that takes pretty much most of the whole weekend. But every once in a while when I go up on a weekend, there's a bunch of little things that need to be done for maintenance purposes or just little things that I haven't done yet that have been on my list. And so sometimes I'll go up there for like a weekend and just focus on those little things that need to be done. So that is what this episode is about, uh, just me doing the little things around my tiny house that needed to be done, and uh, but that didn't really take that long to do. When I got to my tiny house this particular weekend, I did take a little bit of time to enjoy just my surroundings, to enjoy my pasture and the wildflowers in the pasture, and just the beauty of the creek and everything else. Uh, it was really nice and relaxing. Now I do actually pay my neighbor across the street to keep the field cut for me. So he actually came out this weekend to cut the hay in the field for me. And, uh, but I did manage to get some wildflowers before he cut them all down and I decided to put them in my tiny house. I didn't have a vase, so I had to improvise with a smart water bottle, but hey, it works. <laughs> so the first thing that I did was, um, I focused on one of my gutters, <laughs> just one. Uh, I had been meaning to replace this black, like flexible gutter material, downspout material with a, a, like a more stable permanent downspout so that is what I'm doing here I'm taking down the flexible one that was really just meant to be a temporary um, solution and putting up the final solution okay so before I actually started replacing my downspout uh, the day before I had actually moved some stuff on my deck and I accidentally knocked down a hornet's nest and I just left it alone because I'm like, okay, I know I knocked that down. I'm going to stay away from it. I knew that the hornets would be back to protect their nest. And I just left it alone for the rest of the day. And then the next day, which is the day that I'm working on my downspout system, uh, the nest was still sitting out on the deck and I needed to dispose of it. So there were no hornets nearby. And I probably took a risk in doing this, but I really wanted to film the nest. I had never looked inside of a hornet's nest before and to see the, the pupae, I guess they're called, or yeah, pupae. Um, so it was kind of intriguing to me, and I just thought you guys might want to see it as well. Uh, after I filmed it, I actually ended up throwing the nest into the creek. I figured, well, it'll wash them away some fish might eat it. Um, it'll be food for some kind of animal. So to me, this looks a whole lot better than what I had before. <laughs> uh, and this was my plan all along. I just took a little while to get to doing it.
speaking of gutters, I also decided to clean out my gutters on this side of the house. Uh, I didn't worry about the other side of the house, at least not yet. Uh, my ladder isn't tall enough to reach the other side of the house. The only reason I'm able to do it uh, on this side of the house is because I have the deck here. So as you can see, the gutters on this side of the house uh, were quite dirty. I had little trees growing in them. <laughs> so this is just me cleaning them out. And it looks so much better after it's done, like way better. Okay, in addition to my gutters for this particular weekend, I also had it on my list to trim some of the limbs that were around my tiny house. I didn't get to all the limbs that I wanted to, um, mostly because I couldn't reach them, but I did get to a lot. The great thing about having your own property like this and having so much of it is you can just take this debris from you know the tree limbs as long as it's natural debris and you can just take it to the edge of the woods if you want or wherever you have your designated area for putting debris on your property um, it's just really great it's just an easy way to dispose of it uh, if I had a wood chipper that would be even better but I don't at least not yet so maybe one day in the future I'll get a wood chipper but for now I'm just putting the debris on the side of the woods out on the back part of my property. All right, that is it for this week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, there's just little things you gotta think about with you know having your own property or having a tiny house or a house of any kind, really. It's just general maintenance stuff like gutters and tree limbs that are growing onto your roof. So these are things you have to keep in mind. Also, if you have a field like I do, that does have to be cut from time to time. You can't just let the field grow wild because trees end up growing up in it and then you don't have a field anymore. You have a forest. So uh, yeah, my neighbor does come and cut my pasture about, I think, three times during the summer. And um, as for the hay that he gets off of it, I believe he ends up giving it to my other neighbors that actually has some horses. So since I'm not there full time yet and I don't need the hay for my horse, um, I definitely don't mind that that they use it. So it works out really well. And um, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Please remember to hit that like button if you have not done so already. And if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do try to get out a video once a week. Sometimes it's every two weeks but it's always on a Sunday morning, very early. I usually post around midnight on uh, the night before, so just keep that in mind. But you can also hit that notification bell and it will remind you and notify you when I have posted a new video. So yeah, that's it. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys next time.